Monday morning, and today we're all anted out and we're all tuckered out. Oh, yeah. It's great to be here. Thanks for having us. Feels Thank a little bit much. like a weekend. <laughs> it Only never rested. Is... That's right. Normally you would be sitting over here. <laughs> yeah. We'll flip for it in the 7 o'clock hour. Yeah, We've got a big show coming up for you. Rascal Flats is here today. They've got a new album out. They're great to our troops, yeah. and we're going to be talking to them about their life on the road this summer. Plus Donald Trump and uh, Brett Baer. We've got a whole bunch of stuff, but right now we're getting to a Fox News alert because and Heather's going to talk us about something scary in Toledo. Yeah, from a crisis there to a crisis Big here, one. right in America's heartland. Another Fox. Thanks, right, Heather. Thank you Thanks, very much. Heather. Well, on Friday, the House of Representatives did grant that uh, big. Fantastic. Thanks for asking. First question: What is Ebola? So Ebola is a symptoms that you get in later on in the disease when you can get bleeding. Who's here in the United States at Emory? How's he being treated? How is Ebola treated? So there's no vaccine for Ebola, but one of the problems of Ebola is they may need temporary temporary dialysis, for example. Mm -hmm. But supportive care is the key. Plenty of making sure that you know he's in isolation and, and you know is very contained. I want to know how bad this is specifically this outbreak as you look back at, at history. Right. So in the last 40 years since we've never aren't educated to know how it spreads, should Americans be worried? I mean, when we hear about how quickly it's spreading there, and now with Cheatham, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. 18 minutes after the hour on your Monday morning, an Afghan killing off the stunning spin movie he lands safely in a nearby field to be moved not movie it certainly uh been in an ambulance oh, you you think? Think? Not a hearse. it was not on standby there that, or at least no, not we, that we could see in the field Can you imagine being his wife or his be mother? a bug on a windshield <laughs> yikes <Bad. laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, John Voigt, Angelina Jolie's uh, father, John Voigt, a friend of this program and friend of the network, has put in Penelope Cruz coming forward, uh, you know, against Israel. And it's like they're forgetting what has been happening for decades to these people, their history of having to run into bomb shelters, sure. you know, worried about their own livelihoods themselves. I, I think forgetting is giving them too much credit. That suggests they knew. Okay, uh, anything about maybe? anything and I actually think John Voigt may be giving them too much credit I mean defaming Israel suggests like forethought and sure. intelligence <laughs> and intent situations like this if they appear to not be educated on it let us know no they shouldn't but they do <laughs> <laughs> good answer all right it's uh, 26 know. minutes before the top of the hour uh, you want to know what uh, the crack smoking mayor of Toronto is up to these? Oh, the crack smoking uh, mayor of Washington, D.C. There were crack smoking mayors. The former crack smoking mayor of Washington, D.C. Heather, what? I only Washington, saw the DC. first line and I yeah. thought it was going to be about Rob You'd Ford. You think it would be about Rob Ford, but this is quite a story for you coming in overnight. We're talking about. <laughs> you know what that was? Reptile dysfunction. <laughs> oh, RD, no, but there's treatment no. for it. And commercials for it, possibly <laughs> on our air. If your turtle keeps walking for more than four hours. Uh, by the way, I am in Tucker's seat, and Tucker is in so mine because on the, on the weekend you're on that side, and I'm over. It'll never happen again. Well, yeah. we'll see about that. Musical chairs. Uh, anyway, uh, 24 minutes before the. Imitating art, an actor known for his gangster role on. Thanks, Sean. And for the latest on what else is making headlines, we turn now to Heather Nauer. Good morning. Hi, good morning. We're following some news here at home this morning. An update for you. Do that scene in Caddyshack with Bill Murray. It's going to be a little while until the heavy stuff starts coming out. He's holding his golf club up, and the lightning's going. <laughs> but yeah, don't do that. Boom! <laughs> Heather, thank you. Heather, thanks. All right, uh, what would your kids do if they came face to face with a gun? Young and armed in America, all this week we're taking an in depth look at kids and their relationships with guns. And what do they know about guns and how dangerous they are? All across the United yeah. States today with Heather Now. And the reality of what children may do with guns. See, even when you tell kids not to touch it, so mm -hmm. often they are very tempted to do it. And so all this week we're going to be talking about how to teach your children about guns responsibly, Great. how to lock them up, what parents should do. We have a lot of a lot of viewers here who are big fans of um, you know our, our constitutional rights, of Absolutely. course, and all of that. Um, so we want to make sure we're addressing this from a fair and balanced perspective. All right, indeed, mm -hmm. uh, good job, and we'll be watching yes. tomorrow. All right, we're going to step aside. Brett Baird joins us live from. Honored to have you. I've been listening to y'all just for for ages. Well, thank um, you. And one of the reasons we wanted to have you on the show is because you're huge supporters of our troops. We just mm -hmm. heard in Steve's report there that more pink slips are going out in an enormous time that we need to be rallying around them. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel like it's necessary to perform for them and, and, and do things? Well, uh, we've always had a heart for the military. Uh, I think that uh, we've looked at there are people that put their lives on the line to enjoy. As well, uh, you're, you're on the road right now for your summer rewind tour. We caught, caught you on what, maybe three hours of sleep, something like <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Appreciate you waking up with us. A lot of coffee. Yeah, tell us about the, the tour and the album. 
You know, the tour's been great. We've uh, sit this yeah. close together we normally wouldn't. Yeah, there's a glass wall between <laughs> each of you at the moment, right? No, we uh, love each other. We love what we do. It's good. Great. Our viewers love you too. They've been sending in questions all morning long. We have a tweet from Dan. She says... <laughs> and we took it. We stole it. Yeah. Right? Names and lights. <laughs> right. um, another viewer, this is, comes from uh, the songs that you choose. Well, I don't know. It's a process. We listen to thousands of songs for each record at their point in, in life with a struggle or moving on from a bitter. Too. I mean, it's just the crisp, clean sound that you have that's one of a kind that's amazing. Uh, you've had a lot of sponsors over the last 15 years or so. This year you have a new one. Tell me about that. We do, yeah, with uh, Nexium. It used to be an issue, but, you know, because we all struggle with, with frequent heartburn. We need to, mm -hmm. even when right. the only things that are open. Well, are our schedule's crazy. I mean, we we have to we can't pick and choose. Soda, yeah. unfortunately. So all the things we love to eat, we can eat it now without yeah. hesitation with next in 24 hours. It's great. Well, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Ladies thanks and gentlemen, Rascal Flats. Appreciate it. 27 minutes after the hour. Well, the shift.